Oh, he's gonna run away. <laughs> hey everyone, this week I thought I would just show you my entire week, you know, take you behind the scenes, do a bit of a vlog. I'm going to try to show you as many meetings as I can with our amazing team. But yeah, also just, we've got also a photo shoot, which is really exciting. New Udis are always exciting. So I'm gonna pop over there, meet the new photographer, um, based in Adelaide. Yeah, should be a good week, let's do it. is the home gym. I've been investing in it a little bit because of the lockdowns. So people ask me how much I work, uh, usually on a day. Sometimes I work, you know, 12, 14 hour days, probably like six to seven days a week. On Saturdays, we generally shoot YouTube videos. You need to be able to work those long days because it's basically just a race at the start. Even in e-commerce, it's a race, it's especially a race in SaaS. It's a race to become the market leader in that business. Basically, you need to work harder than the other founder, work smarter, deploy capital in the best way possible. And yeah, so it, it's, it, it's tough at the start. So our first meeting is pretty exciting. No, get off, get off. It's a white couch, idiot. Sit down, sit. Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> so the first meeting we've got is actually pretty exciting. It's our new head of product, wealth of experience. She's really gonna bring our Udi clothing range to life, which is really exciting. And I think, you know, hiring this head of product is gonna bring a lot of systems, processes, experience, previous mistakes that we can just kind of learn from. Just for the sake of, um, you know, her privacy, probably won't be able to show you um, too much on her side, um, but hopefully I can kind of give you a bit of insight on how we onboard employees um, and you know the overarching product direction of, of the group. What's the light like? It's all good. Yeah, it's all right. All right. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Welcome. It's good to have you. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Everyone's just been like, when, do, when does Courtney start? When does Courtney start? And we've, we've finally got you, so it's, it's really oh, exciting. When, when you're getting started, you know, don't be overwhelmed by how many brands there actually are. You're gonna, okay. you're gonna hear products coming left, right. Like we're not expecting you to be up to speed with all of that very, very quickly. We wanna to get to a point where we can test over a thousand products a year. The products go through a validation process and then we go into a development process. Thanks so much for the call. You just let me know if you've got any questions um, and yeah, I'll get back to you. I, I, I trust you, I trust you so much and I know that you will nail this. We can probably do it better than the current agency. I think you're underestimating how busy you're about to be within the group. Like from an email and understanding email, I'm literally into doing it. Being an entrepreneur, it's obviously gonna affect your family life and your friends a lot. I was lucky because, yeah, my brother was one of my first hires, which was good. So I got to, got to spend a lot of time with him. My family's always been entrepreneurial in themselves, which has been really good. Um, you know, I've just been able to learn a lot from them and kind of go to them when I need, you know, advice as well. So, you know, it hasn't been too, too secluding. A lot of entrepreneurs, when their families are kind of against risk, or don't really have experience in business, it can actually be quite ostracizing um, starting a business. You know, people will tell you not to do it, your family and friends, and it's very hard to get over that hump, especially when you know, you know, it's what you want to do. So, you know, I've been very fortunate in that, that situation, but I know that a lot of people, you know, don't have that, that liberty, which is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of sad, you know, I, I hope that a lot of you can, find motivation in, in what we're doing as well um, to you know take that plunge even though that nobody around you thinks it's a good idea if that makes sense but cool so today maybe we'll just have some quick updates out of today's meeting I'm going to take you through cool. the 22 plan so I've been working on what license looks like for the first half of next year Sweet. and that's when these deals will come into play ah. calming blankets and stuff they're all going to have their own DNA as well we don't necessarily have to do them in the same designs as what we do for Udi I think calming blankets is probably more of a lifestyle thing and it has a more sophisticated stuff you've got like 15 20 products that we can actually start running out and yeah. getting some 
So maybe let's let's get rid of that top criteria of no more than five suppliers in AliExpress. Yeah, the product needs to be shown in the first three seconds. My nan, no, my pop just emailed me saying, confirming that I was coming to family dinner tonight. Do you want me to say this is Tuesday? Yeah. Cool. Relatively exciting, pretty broad kind of day today. It's just a whole lot of meetings. We basically got 12, 12 hours of meeting and then I'm just gonna finish off with a walk with Sherlock. Yeah, bizarre. Concern. So we've got a mystery present. The videographer wanted to film it in case it was something funny. Sherlock got his new vest as well. Very handsome. Ooh. You're able to shine a completely different light on Facebook advertising. From our conversation yesterday, we've already put some things in motion. I've been watching your Instagram. It looks kind of cool. Ready? Watch it. <laughs> I think one of the most challenging things that I'm actually dealing with at the moment is just how to be a good CEO. It's like, it's not very, it's not talked about very much. Um, the challenges that you actually face when you're growing a large business. So I've been studying podcasts and uh, reading books. So The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz. And I've also got I listen to a really good podcast from the uh, CEO of Spotify as well. And it seems like it's not talked about because, yeah, it's so different. Every CEO kind of has a different journey. There's lots of different CEOs that have different skill sets. They bring different value to the business. Um, I think one of the hardest part of it is letting go of your pride and realizing what kind of leader that you actually need to be. I think that's something that I struggle with, you know, stepping out of marketing, that side of things, realizing that, you know, there was someone probably better fit to run that division while I looked after other parts of the business. And there's just no place to have an ego when you're, you know, trying to be a good CEO because the priority is just the mission of the company. Like, it, however I achieve it, you know, that's all I really want. It's not really about me or, anything like that. It's about getting the team where they want to go and yeah, achieving what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to put in proper reporting, communication, systems, procedures, to just try to systemize everything. The communication lines, you know, still come up to me and I know everything that I need to know, but yeah, it's, it's definitely an unnatural job position, that's for sure. One of the other things that, you know, being a CEO is like, you just need to make hundreds of decisions on a weekly basis. Um, so you need to understand how you, <laughs> how you make your decisions and your, the mental models that you use to guide your decision-making process. So one interesting thing is, you know, is it a revolving door or is it, is it a one-way door? You know, when I make this decision, does it put you on a path that you can never correct from? That's something that's, um, you know, I've really kind of learned pr probably the hard way multiple times as well. Um, then you also need to understand your cognitive biases around, um, decision making. You'll make the wrong decisions in the same way as a ha form of habit unless you check yourself as well. So yeah, you need to be able to make lots of decisions and uh, on very little information as well. You're going to get barely any of the information. You're going to get 10% of what you need and then you still need to make the correct decision which is very, very difficult and not for the faint hearted. So today we've got a photo shoot. We're heading there at the moment. It's our new Audi Basic Ranges which is really cool. Um, we've done a lot of license shoots lately, but we've actually created a really exciting hoodie range that we can show them behind the scenes. We've also got to try to fit a TikTok live in as well because the algorithm's really loving that at the moment. So we've seen videos go viral. So we'll try to fit one of those in somewhere and try to make it a little bit interesting and answer any questions that people have. Hello from Malaysia. How do we find our staff? So we find staff in with multiple ways. Um, one of the best ways if you are an established business is using LinkedIn. What should I learn first, Facebook ads or Shopify? 
both, you need to learn both. You can probably learn Shopify first so that you can drive traffic to it, but you know, if you're very new, you might want to be driving traffic for someone else, um, so you might want to learn Facebook ads. So we're here at the Udi shoot, and this is one of our new breakfast ranges. It's absolutely adorable. So with the Udi, I've said it a few times, every single pattern is supposed to be it's supposed to resemble someone's personality, right? So, you know, we've got the new chicken nugget range as well. You know, everyone that loves nuggets is gonna love that. So the breakfast range, it's fun, it's cute, it's vibrant. The waffle is pretty, pretty adorable. People probably underestimate how much effort actually goes into these designs. So we have a creative director, graphic designer, we've got a fashion designer as well that signs off at everything, fabric technician, all of those kind of people, you know, all have kind of a say. In this, we've also got our licensed manager, we've got a head of product, we've got so many people that work on these designs and make them come to life. So yeah, de people definitely underappreciate how much work actually goes into it. Oh, good boy. So today went over our weekly supply and demand meeting, making sure that that's all good. I actually had a call with one of my old friends that worked at Facebook as well, which was um, pretty cool. He's got a new app idea. Got the new FPV drone. We're gonna fly that tomorrow. Um, I'm probably gonna go, go down to the beach house. So just jumping on a call now with the official Udi girl. No, she's actually our social media manager. Our top performing videos were videos from back in June, April and some of July. Even if you um, just do education and don't even plug the product initially, I think that would be really cool. When you're on the product listing, you can look under the supplier name and see whether it's the trading company or the actual manufacturer. The manufacturer will give you better pricing than the trading company. When you first started out your business, did you have any people that doubted you? No, nah, I think I had like a very, very good support system to be honest. I probably, the person that doubted me the most was myself. <laughs> I think the most satisfying moment in business is always when you can get a brand and you can turn it to in, into a profitable brand. It's just the best feeling because I think a lot of people don't understand what that actually means. And it's not that, okay, you've now created something that can create $1,000 profit a month, you know. It's that you've essentially created something that's creating value in the world. And I think that it's really powerful. And you get rewarded for it in that if you're doing $1,000 a month profit, really baby steps, people will pay you a multiple of that over, the, over a 12 month period. So you've essentially created a brand that could be worth $30,000, $40,000, um, which it's basically a, a whole salary. So I think that that's like a really powerful concept in itself that you can get paid for that brand. Um, and you know, that obviously compounds. So if you can start doing $1,000 a day, you've suddenly got a brand that's worth over a million dollars. I think that's just really a powerful, powerful thing to think about. And when I go look back at all my favorite moments in business, it's looking at that profitability, that, that wealth creation, that freedom that I'm creating, and knowing that you, know, you can also sell that for a larger multiple as well. It's just quite an ex exciting thing and yeah, something to be proud of. Trends in the shoot that are coming through, customer insights, things like that, um, and reviewing it that way, maybe discussing some more of these connections. <laughs> <laughs> is that our new? Is that our new? At this particular time, for us trying to you know do that merger over to Cambodia, um, mm -hmm. we obviously haven't produced anything out of them as yet. We're in the office today because it's Friday and everyone's kind of been in lockdown previously so we've got a fair few people in so we're just going to do a bit of a pizza day got a few new marketing recruits some new um performance marketers media buyers starting so what did you do before well, it was more yeah, like cinematic like stuff so like, yeah. like weddings um, one of the most important things that you you need to remember when you actually launch a business is that all your employees are actually very different to you. They're different in energy, they're different in you know, what they're 
goals are, what they're trying to achieve is just, I think one, that's one of the main mistakes that I had was you know, I'm willing to just sit in my study and work 14 hours a day for, for um, six days a week, but other people aren't like that. And I think the quicker you realize that, you know, they're with you for a reason, they, they, they should be with you for the vision, which um, you know a lot of our employees are. So if you read Dan Pink's um, book called Drive, he outlines that there's three elements of kind of motivation, autonomy, mastery and purpose that can also make sure that your employees are, are happy if you can satisfy all three of those criteria in, in employment so you know looking at how autonomous they are to complete their work um, you know are they do they believe in the purpose of the business you know what is, what are they doing to create that purpose as well and achieve it and then master as well becoming the kind of the best in their craft making sure that you're providing plenty of learning for them as well um, is really important. I never really thought obviously the Audi would ever ever become what it is. You know, I mean, I feel incredibly blessed that, that it has. I, that being said, you know, I always knew that I was going to do big things. You know, I, I never, you can't, you know, believe that you, you, to do, to commit so much emotional investment into something, you know, you, you can't have any wavering doubt that you're not going to be successful. You need to believe it right down to your soul. You need to be able to visualize it as well. I think I always knew that that yeah we I, I would achieve something like this. I didn't know it was going to be the Udi, but the truth is, I think the Udi is just like the first step. I think we can revolutionise the way e-commerce is done. I think we can help a lot of people as well with lots of different technologies and products as well. So yeah, I think we're just getting started. I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing Udi. I don't know. Maybe just still a personal trainer or something like that.